do have stuff in Macarbo's channel. Today's video is going to be very simple. We recently picked up this 1990 Nissan hard body pickup. One of the minor issues that we found already with this truck is that the driver's side door won't unlock with the key. You can hear it moving. The key turns when you try to unlock it or lock it, but the lock itself doesn't move up and down and unlock the door. So we're going to troubleshoot it and figure out what the problem is. That way you have a hard body truck that is having the same issue, you'll know what the problem is. So let's take a peek. So let's take a closer look. The button itself does lock. Okay, so it locks. If you move it manually, it unlocks. So that part works. But this truck, when you turn the key, for one it's a little bit hard to turn, it kind of sticks, but it does turn. So something is jammed or disconnected in there. So in order to figure it out, we're going to have to remove the inner door panel to get to it. So we're going to start with that. This particular truck has manual windows. So the first thing to do is to remove the window handle. There's a clip that holds it to the regulator. I'm just going to use this hook to remove the clip and remove the handle. Okay, so this is the clip that I'm talking about. So all I did was insert the hook and pull it up. There's a tool that's made to remove these clips, but since the hook works just fine, that's all I need. So once that is removed, then the handle will just pull out. Next step, remove the door lock knob, turning it counterclockwise. For the armrest, there are two Phillips screws that hold it to the door. So you need to loosen them up. They may not come all the way out, but they need to be loosened up. Okay, so like I said, the screws are still in there, but you can remove the armrest slash handle. The molding that goes around the door handle itself, it just pulls out. But sometimes there's a possibility of breaking the clips to attach it to the door. So it's easier to remove it by pushing it from behind the door panel itself. So I need to detach the door panel, it has clips that fasten it to the door, so detach those all the way around, Insert your hand from behind and push it out. So these are the ones that keep it in place. And even though you just saw it flying out, it didn't break. If I try to pry it out, if I don't have the right angle, this will break. So once everything is removed, it's just a matter of removing the door panel by pushing it up first and just taking it off just like that. Just gonna pull this plastic to gain access. I'm going to roll the window up so I can see what's going on in here. 
So I had the plastic away from the door. And looks like I found my problem right here. Okay, so this is the mechanism that moves up and down when we turn the key. And this is completely detached. So in this particular truck, this is what's causing the key not to lock or unlock the door. Okay, so I removed this clip that holds the mechanism in place. And by looking at it, this piece is broken. If you look at it from an angle, this side has a lip. And the lip from this side is completely gone. So that is what caused this part to detach from the lock that moves up and down. I went to my local auto parts stores to locate the clip that broke for the door lock. No lock. I ended up going to the Nissan dealership to get these items. And these are the part numbers. That way if you need them, you already have them. So. This is the part that broke off. This is the new one. This is the part number. I went ahead and bought the one that goes in the center. So that way they're both new. So this is what's going to get replaced right here. Alright, so first step is to carefully detach the rod from the other part by turning it. Okay, so it turns. Now you can slide it out. Set it down. Okay, that's the broken piece. To avoid breaking this clip, this has to be inserted first. Okay, so that snaps in place. The next step is to slide this because that keeps it locked. Okay, so slide it in to where it's flush. Now we can slide this over the rod. It's a bit hard to film and install it at the same time, but once the rod goes through, then you just gotta make sure that it locks. You know, you turn it and then you lock it. And then obviously the last step is to connect this to the mechanism and make sure that you install the C-clip. It's gonna keep it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and operate the lock with the key. Okay, so this is unlock, lock, this is the lock, it goes down, and it goes up. So, up close view again, down, and up. I'm going to lubricate this part, so it moves up and down easily nothing gets jammed up but this is all that was needed finish by installing the door panel back on if any of the clips that fasten the panel to the door broke off you need to install new ones obviously install the window crank handle the armrest slash handle and and the plastic molding that goes around here as you can tell, this was not hard to do. The biggest issue was that we couldn't find a broken clip at our local auto parts stores and we had to go to the dealership. But aside from that, it all went very smooth. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you have a truck that has a similar problem, it's very likely that that's what caused it. Hopefully by watching this video you can repair it and you can unlock and lock your doors again with your keys. Thanks for watching our video and see you next time.